Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm cooking my insanity curry from scratch, a dish that I can only describe as the devil's curry. The touch of sugar creates a sweet surprise, followed by a fireball of heat from the scotch bonnet, bird's eye, naga, and finger chilies. Before I begin, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and notification bell. Thanks. To begin, I'm going to make the chilli paste, so in a blender, add the garlic, ginger, lemon juice, oil, a good spoonful of Mr Naga, some water to help it combine, the bird's eye chilies, and finally, for this part at least, the scotch bonnets. Blend for around 30 seconds until you get a smooth paste and place aside. Don't breathe it in as you take the lid off like I did and put it to one side as we'll be adding that in a while. Now get your pan and start on a low to medium heat. Add the oil, ghee, cassia bark and mustard seeds. Give it a gentle stir until the mustard seeds start to pop. Add in the chopped onion, stir through and allow to soften and brown. Don't rush this part, as you want the onions to begin to caramelise and sweeten slightly. This can take around 10 minutes, so don't try to rush, as you'll end up just with burnt onions. When the onions are ready, add the tomato paste, and carefully tip in the chilli spice paste. Stir through, and allow to cook for a couple of minutes to release the flavours and aromas. It can get a bit potent at this point, so make sure you have some ventilation. As the oil starts to separate, add in the spice mix, chilli powder, Kashmiri chilli powder, salt, coriander powder, cumin powder and turmeric powder. Stir through once again and wait until the oil starts to separate. Remember to always make sure your spices are cooked through properly at this stage otherwise you'll end up with gritty or grainy curries. Add in your choice of protein and coat to stop it drying out and allow to cook through for, for a few minutes. If using prawns, add them in the last five minutes to stop them getting overcooked or rubbery. Turn up the heat, add half of the water, stir through and allow to reduce by half. When it's reduced, add the remainder, stirring in well again and allow to simmer for a couple of minutes. Add in the sliced green chilies, sprinkle over the mephi, crushing it in your fingers, and tip the white vinegar and brown sugar. Stir through and allow to reduce to your desired consistency and until your choice of protein is cooked through. Garnish with some fresh chopped coriander and crushed dried chilies. Please remember to subscribe, comment and hit that like button and find this and many more recipes on my website at thecurrykid.co.uk.